Hey, Extra, it's Sonequa Martin-Green. This is Wilson Cruz. Let's fly. It's full speed ahead as the crew of the Starship Discovery try to solve a centuries-old mystery and save all life as we know it. We're on a search for one of the greatest powers ever known. It was such a big endeavor, season five. Wow! <laughs> Never a dull moment! The season is epic in scope. We go big. We didn't even know it was the last season. They'd already completed filming when it was announced season five was to be Discovery's final mission. Time for plan B then? On the count of three. So Sonequa, Wilson, and the cast return to set to shoot a new ending befitting a series finale. Are you well, on the bridge today? You know I can't tell y'all no spoilers. And we are also in, won't tell you where we are after the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, and action. So we're able to put a bow on it. It's beautiful, it's a very yeah. satisfying season. Even more satisfying, Discovery's proud legacy of Diversity. When you talk about this show, we have our first female black captain. Let's fly. But we also have the first gay couple. We have the first non-binary character, the first trans character in Star Trek franchise history. My crew, the family I found in Starfleet, we made a pretty good team. Next, Sonique was back on Earth, teaming up with Travis Kelsey, who co-produced her new military dramedy, My Dead Friend Zoe. I found out after we shot that he was one of the original financiers. And it was because he mentioned to his team, hopefully I'm not telling too much, Travis, my bad if I am, but <laughs> it's a good thing. He, he told his team, I wanna support veterans. And having Travis's support and all the attention it brings is not lost on Sonequa. Let's be real, it does bring more eyes to it. And Absolutely. this movie was to save lives. Now she and the Discovery crew are out to save the galaxy one last time. Streaming now on Paramount Plus. Last dance. I shall follow your lead.